Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music, and the administrator of Graphical Design Facebook Group. I'm going to start you off with a finished designer, and I'm going to show you how to choose a PNG character and change it into an animated character GIF. All right, to do that, I'm going to start off with a new document, A4, and Portrait. Create that. I'm going to go all the way over to the place image tool which looks like a picture and then I'm going to navigate to my own PNG's characters and I'm going to pick a character I'm going to use me Arabian Prince character and I'm going to stretch him out and stretch him across like that I might take him up a bit because I need some space at the bottom I might just take him up a little bit more but right, we need some space on that side all right Next, what we need to do is copy it and paste it about four times. And when we've done that, we're going to hide the four underneath the first one. And we're going to use Crop Tool and crop up all the way up to the top of the neck right under the chin if possible like that and then we're going to crop it towards the head, the hat there and towards the hat on this side so there isn't that much white space left there right so we've done that then once we've done that click on the move tool just to make sure it's accepted and I'm going to file edit in photo <clears throat> just wait for affinity photo to come up and we'll um, gonna view zoom 400 then I'm going to use the navigation bar and take that up to where his neck is and as you can see I need to just get rid of all that there under the chin and stuff like that right so I'm going to use the erase brush tool first get rid of that there and this here just that bit there I'll have to leave that bit in the corner because I can't reach it I'll just do it after I've done the rest of this if you take your steady you can usually do pretty good with this using a mouse I'm using a mouse so if you take it steady and slowly you can do it it, it, it does take time to do that um, it's probably easier to use a, an XP pen or something like that but I haven't got mine connected up at the moment so I'll just use my mouse and do my best with that I'm not doing too bad I have got a bit of a what's it there nicked it put it down where I'm still enough of the blackness on there so that's okay all right so what we can do now is go back on to view zoom to fit yeah that looks all right there's a something there what's that i've just clicked it off with that thankfully and we can go back into edit in designer by clicking file and down to edit in designer right we need to knock off the photo for a moment because we finished that for the minute we're going to click on the Arabian Prince one that we've just changed into a head and change the name to head capital H and I've missed the E unfortunately my keyboard plays me up a lot that's it so and enter that right so that's his head then what we need to do is we need to hide that by unchecking the checkbox there and then checking on the next one to reveal that one what we're going to do with this one is we're going to um, crop all of it oops I've clicked the wrong thing I'm at the crop button there and click on everything now I'm going to crop it over to the right arm crop as much as I can there 
then I'll crop that down by using Y to it to go on the vertical lines. You've got to watch the vertical lines on this. You don't check that it's on the vertical lines, it'll, it'll take the whole box up. You've got to be careful with that. Right, so we're right to buy the knuckles, that'll do. Use the move tool again and then go into photo, edit in photo again. Right. I know it's a, it's a bit of a mess and about keep on going back in and out of photo but it's the best way to do it so that's what we're going to do and view zoom 400 well, now we zoomed up to 400 we're going to go over here we're going to use the erase for the flood erase tool click on the green and erase that if we can. Oops, hang on. Click on there. I know what I need to do. I need to do this. Rasterize that. Right. Now just erase that. Like that. We go up here and erase this yellow as well. Right. Now what we need to do is change it from that erase tool to the erase brush tool. Go from there to there. that and that should be more or less okay however I don't want the whole of the shoulder on because it's not supposed to be the shoulder it's supposed to be the arm yeah so we need to just do a bit of trimming then we don't need that line we need to take that line off and maybe take this down a bit like that. I want to keep this line on, but I don't want to keep the the uh, shoulder line on because I want the shoulder line to be the shoulder line that's the actual one for the body, not the arm. All right, so we need to do it like that. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's just crop it across over here. Just crop that end off there. I don't like the the sharp edge there. That's fine. All right, so that's his arm done. I'll just zoom out so you can see it. Okay, to the zoom out. Zoom to fit is the way to do it, and that's pretty pretty reasonable, you know. Um, if you wanted to, you could cut off his fingers and then do his fingers how you want them to be done uh, for it. But for my purposes, it's going to be okay like that, right? So um, what we're going to do now is go back into uh, Edited Designer. And then we're going to change the name of that to R arm. But remember the R and the A are going to be capitals and the rest of it is going to be in lowercase. I've just got to take off photo, right? So um, just click on that. Capital R, capital A. Oh, the R hasn't come up. Wait a minute. This is my problem with my... It's come up three times now. Capital A. Okay, that's it. Right, so right arm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy it and paste it and flip it, and that'll be your left arm. Right, so just going to change that to L arm. Right, and we're going to add the next character on and as you can see that looks pretty cool it looks reasonable right now I'm just going to get rid of those two um, arms by hiding them now we're going to do the body or oh, we could do the legs it doesn't matter I'm just going to do the body though it's the way I've been doing it so I'll do, do it this way just click, click all the way up to the bottom of the tunic and take the head off all the way down to the neck make sure I'm not going over the shoulder at all I'm not taking off the arms because I need to show you something with the arms right to do the arms I'm going to rasterize this before I take it into the other app so I'm going to rasterize that right so it's one item now and I'm going into editing photos again 
editing photo. Right, now it's already rasterized it don't matter, it'll be alright. So all I need to do now is just I'm gonna get rid of these white arms because then we've got to come off anyway. But to do that I'm gonna use flood erase still to flood erase them. And to check that I'm gonna use a square box and I'm gonna colour it into a blue colour or oh, a rectangular box, sorry. And I'm going to put that behind, so I'm going to arrange to back, move to back like that. And then they take it over to where they are, and hopefully it should, it should show through, so that is taken off there and there, right? So we've done that just to make sure that they've gone, right? That's fair enough. Now what we need to do is view zoom into. Four hundred, and we're going to use the navigation tool to take it over to that end. Get rid of the bottom piece here because that, we don't need that bit. We want to show the tunic itself, not not the bottom of the trousers. So we need to. Oh, hang on! I'm not on the right thing now. I'm on the wrong one. It cha it automatically changed the location of what what layer I was on. I don't know why it does that. It just does it. I don't know why it does it. Oh, I'm odd. But I've sorted it out, so that's fine. Right. Okay, we're gonna just pull this down and slowly edge it down to the edge there. Take it a bit more slowly. That's it. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the side. That's it. Okay, that's fine on that bit. We need to go up to the top. We'll do the neck first, and then we'll get rid of the rest of the arms in a minute. I want to clear the, this base because you obviously can see his chin there. Let me get rid of that. I'm just going to keep that bit there and just do a little bit of a line on there so we can see where his neck's got to go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use um, the paint tool and I'm going to change the colour to this colour and just spot a piece on there where I can see there's a blemish there I don't know why that's there okay took that blemish off right so we've done that now we can go back over to one of the arms we'll go over to that arm I suppose right now what we can do here I can change the colour of the the main colour that we want to use to black so what I want to do is I want to pull this line down here to there and cut off the things and change the colours and everything. So I'm going to use the uh, brush, pen, paint brush tool and I need it to be about 10 so it's alright and change, make sure it's on black and then swing that down there like that and just take it straight down here to where that line is to catch it up with that. Then I'm going to use the flood erase tool and I'm going to, wait a minute, before I use the flood erase tool, I'm going to click on the green first, then the flood erase tool. Click that. Oops. Why did I change to that colour? Oh, I didn't mean the flood erase tool, did I? Duh. The flood tool I wanted. Do that. And the flood tool there to change that to that colour. Now I'm going to use the um, um, paintbrush tool to change these to green yeah like this actually I need to change the size of that to make it a bit bigger I'll do like that just to cover every area I don't want it to be showing like that 
do that a little bit more there. And that looks alright on that side. Right now what I need to do is get rid of all this on this side. All the hand and that. So I'm going to use the erase brush tool. And just do there, down there like that. And go this way here. If you take it steady, you should be alright usually. You can glide in gently and get it as close to as you can without causing too much damage to the the art that you're doing. a little bit of patience does it and there you go we only need to clean off that bit because that bit should be cleaned off now if we did clean it with the erase tool didn't we I mean we can use the erase tool on this now it's away from all that uh, flood erase change it to flood erase there now and I like using it all the while but where, oops, I don't need to do that one. Undo flood erase. That's the trouble with doing using flood erase on, on black. You've got to watch on black. So I ain't going to use a flood erase on that. Just an erase tool. Always remember using a flood erase on black. You can get rid of all the edges. That's the problem. I just need to use the erase tool, not the flood erase tool on that. I keep doing it, I've done, done it so many times, it's unbelievable. <laughs> but it's laid off. Even though I know you're not supposed to do it, you, you still do it. It's just you, you just don't think about it at the time, you just do it and you go, oh god, I've done that again. You know. So, we can go over this side and just erase the other side in a minute. From there down to where the orange bit is. Before we continue with anything else. Like that, and that should be okay in a minute. Sure you get rid of all the bits you know what I mean if it ain't big enough make it bigger simple as that right I'll get rid of the, the line because the line won't be gone we need to get rid of the line so that ain't a problem to that we just need to get rid of the orange itself in a minute I'll just go down here might as well get rid of that while we're here. Oh, you know what I need to do today, uh, next. Once I've done, done, got rid of this, we've just got to put that green line there. So we, what I do is do there, to there. Right, now we need to go up this way. See where the green line is there that we need to add. So I need to take that out a bit. Zoom out. And then obviously we need to zoom out a bit more, so I'm going to use control and minus to see where that line's going to be. So I'm going to take it from there down to there in a minute. What I can do first though is just do bloody rise on that, bloody rise on that, right? And then I'm going to do change that to erase tool and just get rid of that mark there and there. There's a the mark there, Scott. Now, right. Now I need to do the brush tool and I'm going to change the colour to black. Actually what I'll do is I'll just do that. Pick that and make sure it's that colour. Right, then I'm back onto the paintbrush tool. Change that to then. There you go, it's on 10. And then take it from there way down to there like that whoops I'll do it 
itu nanti Oh boleh dah Okey cari cari yang banyak Tak boleh balik Okey the flood tool And I don't know before the flood tool Click on that first Then flood tool Flood that Flood that Flood that And flood that Oops Undo It's a trouble when you're catching someone You shouldn't be catching No matter, we can, we can sort that out now Alright, so what I need to do now Is just do Pipe brush tool again And change the size of that to about 30 Or something, 25, 30 Somewhere around there And just get rid of these These lines Done that bit there. Let's do that again. Sorry, screwed up there. No mind. That's what happens to me nowadays. I do many mistakes by accident. My arms ain't as good as they used to be. My hands ain't as good as they used to be either. So, part of getting old, I'm afraid. But there you go. Okay, that's it. We're done. So that one's done. Um, to view zoom oops zoom to fit right and that's it so that's okay now hopefully what we're going to do now is go back to file editing designer right so just click off the photo again change that to well we don't need to change that yet what we need to do is put the head on you're just going to add a neck so the neck is easy to make all you do is you get a rounded rectangle or something like that um, obviously because we add the colour on it's already got the colour on there it's put it in the colour but the, the green colour is not supposed to be green that's supposed to be black and then we do change the size of the line with to about one point so it's got a bit of a line either side that's why we need to do black anyway and I'm gonna use the move tool to move it up we might have to adjust the size of that according to where the end of the neck is on there we need it to be about where his eyes are and about where his necks is about there like that about the chest right now we're just going to bring it in on this side just to check where that line is put that line there we could actually zoom in to about 100 or something and go up to it right now find the line go across a bit on that side go up a bit there where it meets like that and just take it out slightly, view, zoom out control and minus or um, command and minus on there, so we want to go there, right? that's exactly where we want it and on this side, we're just going to check it on that side so there, that'll be fine right now what we need to do is arrange move to back all right so we need it about there so it's just under his shirt maybe a little bit more that doesn't matter but it's that's that's where we want it roughly and we're just going to push this one across that way a little bit there you go that's okay that's fine so now we've got his neck on what we're going to do is view zoom back to fit what we need to do is connect the neck to the body so we just take off his head and then we just connect those two together by grouping them right so oops excuse me about that sorry about that 
let's just group those two and group by right clicking and clicking group then we're going to rasterize them so they're one piece right now now we've done that what we need to do is change the name of that to hip that's a capital h ip okay oh the ip hasn't come up so i oh, yeah that's one of them p so right my keyboard plays up so much oh loads of p's look now it's a nuisance okay and then remember to uh, hit the enter key after so you've got it on right now that's that i need to take that off and get the next one on and do a leg so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to use this leg this is the left leg so we're going to crop the rest off as best we can so we go as close to that as we can on all the other edges and try to go where the trouser starts there up there and then we oops as you can see what I've just done there shouldn't have done that but there you go you got to watch for the crosshairs to change to horizontal and do uh, that that's what happens if you don't make sure you're low enough on the foot you want the foot showing if you wanted to cut the foot off and do the foot separately you can same with the hands you know and any other parts of the body just use this method to do it and it takes a bit of time but once you've done it it does the same job as any other um, image that you can use to make an animated character gif right so now i've done that i'm just going to go straight into photo again editing photo and ed edit off the pieces that i don't want right so we're going to view zoom when i can get to come on 400 again and what I'm going to do is start off at the bottom of this part. Just pull that down. Go down the bottom there. See where I'm going to try and take that off. I'll just take it steady with a small one. Like that. Need to just go up here a bit more. As you can see it's a little bit pixelated because obviously we've changed it into a, a raster a rastered image you can take a bit of the pixelation off by doing that if you want to going up as far as you want to like that you can take a bit of that glariness off it Okay. I only need the one side of the legs because I can double it over for the other side. It's not a problem, that ain't. I need to just get rid of all this bit off this side. Right, and then just put that there. Let's just take that bit off there, I don't like that bit. It's a matter of uh, watching for yourself what you think it looks best. And we're just going to curve it at the top a bit. Right, just like a, a little bit of a curve usually works wonders. curve it down on this side bring it down here this is all got to be changed to the yellow color so, where well, I'll leave it on if I, if I leave any of it on uh, so that's got to be changed to a different color right 
that's all gonna be changed to yellow except for this bit here that's gonna come off you just want the side, the side that is the same as the leg okay so just cut that there down there right now what we can do is just flood fill right we need that first sorry then flood fill like that and all we need to do is just change them to the same color as that so we go onto the brush tool and brush it off like that You've done all this work, half an hour's work, that's all it's been really, uh, for me to do that. Then that's it, you're done with that. And you can zoom to fit, that'll be okay. You can put the line around it if you wish, you don't have to, it's entirely up to your own personal um, thoughts of whether the way you want it to look right uh, I'm just gonna go straight into editing designer now right so I'll just take off that photo and then just change that to left thigh so L capital T H I G H right and then that's that one and I'm gonna do copy paste and flip for the right thigh and there's his other leg right just change that to an R so we've got the right right thigh as well oops just uh, that's it we got it right okay now if I put all the parts together hopefully it shouldn't look too bad at all we just need to put the legs at the back right so let's put the legs at the back so we might you might need to adjust the legs a little bit maybe move to back arrange move to back because obviously I only took the one not two so that one needs to be moved this way a little bit and this one needs to move that way a little bit and then just do across there like that across there like that okay and that's the most of it just his head missing don't need that other one I can get rid of that by just deleting that piece on that layer right so that's the character ready for um, putting the bounds on and to get the bounds, I usually do this. I'll go file, open, and then we navigate to where the bounds dummy uh, is, which is gonna be, we can have a look on there. CD Pipeline PSD templates. I've got templates, my templates. And I want the front simple template, so, because we haven't done uh, the body parts for it like the eyes and that we haven't done them if, if you wanted to do them you could but you'd have to use the more extensive one the full uh, front body one instead of this one and what I need to do now is select all copy and paste that onto there paste and then I need to take it down to roughly about the size that we need bring it up down a bit more bring it up that crosshairs at the bottom needs to be where your character's feet are oops let's do that let's bring that up a bit more where's the top of that right so bring it in like that and across 
these headies. Make sure we got it all right. Let's just take that up. Like that to where his feet are. Bring that in a bit. And that in a bit that side. Doesn't have to be dead on, but it helps. Right, to be near enough. Right, so we might just uh, leave it at that. That should be okay. Right, now what we need to do is click on RL image there and open that and it'll show you where all the arms and things have to go so what you do is you take one part take it up to where it says that particular part just put it in front of it and delete the folder that's there where it's like the right thigh left thigh and things like that um, the hip though you can't delete that you're not supposed to delete that I'll show you what you have to do with that in a minute let's just get these parts in delete that left arm put that in front of that one delete that right arm put that in front of that and delete that one okay so we've got that um, hip that goes into the hip we put that in there and when you open that up you click off this one and you have to hide that one that's all you got to do right now the head I've got to put the head on put the head up there's the head put that on top of there and click off that head and that's your character ready all you need to do now is put the bones in the right places so we need to go to click that up there for now and then click on the human arms and things like that so we've got the arm there and as you can see it goes on to the left hand nub now the left hand nub is the very bottom of the hand wherever that is right and then left hand is your wrist so you put that on where the wrist should be the next one L forearm is your elbow where the elbow is and then the arm is where the end of your arm should be so what we need to do we need to just check that we go back into this one just check what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the hip there and I'm going to click on the left arm I want to check that that is in between that that are that centre and this and it needs to be interconnected between the two which it is so we're fine right we're fine with that what I need to do I might need to do something with that actually let's click on that let's click on that a minute hip I need to do something with that I need to cut that down there to there and cut that down there to there I think I'm just doing that because I think there's a problem there See, because that should be interconnecting with the uh, one of the shoulder only not the others uh, when I do it with the other one if it's connecting with the elbow as well the elbow will be stuck to the body and you don't want that so I've done that just in case it is connected to it like that which it shouldn't be so I need to put the elbow there on the right side right I just noticed that so that's a problem that I, I hadn't noticed before but it's apparent right so let's do the right arm and just check that right so that needs to go on there right hand that goes that's more or less right anyway put it down there a bit now right forearm is going to go over there that should be okay and then the right arm higher up is going to be there I think it was yeah let's just check that with 
the cross of the right arm and the, the main hip. Let's get back on there. Let's check that. Ah, so I've got it on the wrong thing, sorry. Yeah, that's out, that's outside of, and that's in. So that's in between that and the arm, right? That's what we've got to check. You've got to make sure that the things are interconnected between the two parts that they're supposed to be. You know, like the shoulder is connected to the body and the arm, but the elbow is not connected to the body, so it shouldn't be connected to it, right? You've got to check for those sort of things because that can make a difference to your um, animation if you don't check it always check for that right so the head and up should be at the top of the head and the head itself should be between the eyes somewhere like that right the neck one should be right at the top of the neck so what we need to do is check the neck where the neck is on so it's going to be the hip in it so we need to click on the hip are ah, we there right between the eyes there so we need to put it just above the nose so if we do that just above the nose will be fine the neck one just above the nose like that be fine and the torso one should be there wait a minute let's just get the torso to be with the neck we need it to connect to the neck and the body let's just get back onto the neck which is the torso yeah so it's okay and yeah that's about right there where it is yeah then we go down to the hip one hip one there and that's got to be where it is basically more or less there let's put it at the top of the trousers and then you've got take that off we got the left thigh is going to be the left leg and the foot so the left toe nub is right at the front of the foot it should be a big toe really or something like that then that's the joint of the big toe yeah. there we do we can put that there and that there then the next piece is left, that's the left toe we can put that on the side there lot like, it don't matter left foot two is the heel we need to put that on the heel just at the back there and then left foot one is the ankle right so we do that then we go to the next piece which is the left shank it is the knee that should be there and left thigh should be the connection between the thigh and the hip it should be okay there right and we do the same with the right okay once we've done all that it should be nearly ready to do for animation then the animate could be ready for animation so we've done this and then we will be done right so hopefully i'll just show you how it animates then by going into the animation program that i use and you'll see it at work right right thigh and that goes there and that be it done hopefully okay there you go right now what we need to do now is simply click on file oh no select all first file export psd selection only and export it and put a put it to wherever you usually put it i usually go to my desktop and change it to sample I think I'm going to call it sample PSD sample 
example dot psd okay do that then we're going to come out to this program and go into cartoon animator 4 right and just click on that we'll go over to here where this um, little characters images and that is create character so we need to find our sample PSD should be here somewhere in a minute sample PSD is that one? Oh, is that one I Sample. I must have forgot he must have uh, knocked off the P but there's our character right so you have a look at it you can see it's got his uh, bound structure on so all you gotta do then is click on to backstage on there so it's on stage mode content manager animation motion G3 human elastic front and move and you should be able to jump when I click on him first and click jump there you go and that's him jumping and you can run and that's an animated character gift made from a PNG character I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I know it's been a bit long but um, it was quite extensive so if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe to Tony's Music thank you very much